Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Penny Pitcher Farms. As we're moving these ladies and gentlemen out here to the paddock in behind the granny house, uh, we're going to try to take our time here. And looks like we've got these couple of calves here. It's already jumped ship and went underneath the fence here acting frisky this afternoon I'm going to try to get them back in here now there we go that got under there this and getting under there now we got them all going in here and as you can see we're putting them back in behind the granny house in this paddock and we got them all over here Got the farm manager over here on this side. And Tyler, we've got a cow over there behind you. What's the problem? We have a lot of talking points for everybody this evening. A topic that we've covered several times uh, before, but it's worth talking about again. As you can see, we have one straggler coming right there, guys. And she has got a 48 hour old calf hid out over there. She, it's not hid, it's laying right in the middle of that field. So we're strategically leaving her behind because that calf's not following her. Well, you don't want to get mama and baby separated. So I'm going to say, Junior asked if, what if I went down there and get it? I'm going to say that mama right there won't let you but this could make us millionaires if you are brave enough to go try it <laughs> uh, it won't be no big deal until she gets you gets you down <laughs> guys i want to give a disclaimer here i would not recommend this uh at all for nobody <laughs> i would definitely not recommend this um a new mama and baby you don't mess with them guys um just for safety reasons for yourself um but dad he's gonna go down there and see you. if he can get the baby to stand up um and come to mama we'll move them but just for safety for sake of time we just leave mama and baby behind 99 percent of the time and we'll just move them tomorrow when she gets ready to bring it up uh she'll bring it but she knows what dad is doing I can see the calf down there standing up. But the trouble with this right here, guys, and Dad knows this, the trouble that you will have with this is that calf run right through the middle of them woods right there. Here you go. That calf, being scared, will run off, and she'll run through your fence and be gone, and then you are in trouble. Coming at you. But yeah, this is, like I say, guys, I would not recommend this in any circumstance. Uh, just for safety of you and safety of the of the mama and the baby. It's just, it's just hard. It's, it just, it, more times than not, it just don't work. It's easier just to leave them behind with a new baby. They ain't going to go nowhere. That mama is not going to leave that baby. Um. You're running a bigger risk of doing what dad's doing by by chasing your baby off and getting them separated that way within the next 24 hours both of them will be standing right here wondering why they didn't get moved with the rest of them so it's just it's just easier just to leave them they'll they'll stove up and just stand there for mama trying to protect the baby and like i say it's just easier just to leave them i mean if they're in a good safe spot just leave them and get them the next day it's just it's just a whole lot simpler that way but another talking point that i that i want to show you guys and i don't know if i can show you very good on this on this camera phone if we had an actual video camera it might work a lot better but i want to show you guys another benefit of the rotational grazing business i counted at one time seven of those white-tailed deer out there in the middle of that field 
I can see four from right here. And I'm going to say there's more. They are. There's at least one more in the back left corner of the field. And it is deer season, guys. And I do legally have a buck tag. And I do have <laughs> uh, the great equalizer with us, just in case the big dog wants to come out in this field. <laughs> but I don't see the big dog out here nowhere. And that's okay. But guys, when you got stockpile grass, you ain't only benefiting your cows, your sheep, your goats, whatever you're feeding. Guys, you're benefiting the entire environment. And guys, these, these deer come out in this field every evening. Always have. For the simple fact that there's all kinds of grass to eat right there. All kinds of grass to eat. And it makes for a very, very easy and accepts accessible food plot <laughs> for for us hunters. I mean, them deer right there, I'm sitting here talking normal, and they're not a bit scared uh, for nothing because we do this every other day, and they see us and hear us do that. So they're not alarmed at all. And there's a big skunk right in the middle of the field right there. You, that old black speck right there, guys. You can see it, a big skunk. <laughs> they, they must be rutting, too. Uh, comment down below when when the uh, peak rutting is for the skunk population but there goes a white flag they're gonna ease up into the woods right there and carry on with with their evening i don't see the big daddy so i'm gonna leave them alone but there goes the mama she's gonna bring the calf around the back side there and we still have the gates open to the barn right there so if she was to bring that baby in there, we could run her through very, very easy if she would bring the baby with her. Um, we're going to do some tricks and give her about five minutes. And if she wants to bring it, she can bring it, but we ain't going to push her. I'm nervy, but I'm not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we was just talking about, Junior, more times than not in that situation... I want you to look at a sky, guys. You talk about a pretty sunset. That's like something off Yellowstone right there. That is pretty. That's right here in eastern Kentucky, guys. But we was talking more times than not, and you knew this before you walked over there. More times than not, when you have a new baby, it don't work. You're just you're just as well off to just saving the, your time and effort and just leaving leaving them be and. 99% of the time, they'll be at the gap the next day waiting on you. Yeah. But she is getting pretty inquisitive. That shows you that cows are herd animals, guys. They do not like to be separated. That's why they'll be waiting on you the next day. They want to be uh, with the herd. That's just a natural instinct that God gave them to guard against predators. Um, but it looks like she's trying to bring it right through that gap right there. And if she does, we'll just let them do what they want to do. But that I was telling them about not just a benefit for your cows rotational grazing, but for the wildlife too. Um, telling how many deers that we always see over there in that field. It's just, it benefits everything, guys, this rotational grazing does. I mean, it just, it benefits absolutely everything. There they are. If they'd have come 10 foot to the left, they'd have made it. <laughs> I wouldn't jack with them, Junior. We got a reel right here. Here is one trouble, guys, that you will run into with your reels. Me and the brother was a was a rolling this up the other day, and the brother don't don't do much with us as far as cattle farming goes, and it got tangled up on him, and he didn't realize it, and he just kept reeling. So we have got a bird's nest and a half. And guys, I wish I had a tip. I wish I had a hack to to fixing that but they ain't <laughs> if there is somebody better comment down below and tell us what it is but the the only thing i know to do is just keep pulling till you can get some slack enough to just kind of unroll it <laughs> there's no there's no way good way about them are they junior <laughs> no no it's it, it is a nightmare that's for sure but guys this is penny pincher farm i'm gonna leave you with that sunset right there guys we got some moisture in the forecast the next 24 48 hours and it'll be appreciated like it always is we could use it it's dry the growing season's over with but still guys the it's dry and 
and they just nothing nothing good happens out of dry weather <laughs> unless you're trying to cut hay but you ain't gonna have no hay if you don't get no rain so we're gonna welcome all the moisture we can get whether it comes in snow or whether it comes in rain um it's got cold here we got our gloves on guys it's probably it's getting close to down in the 30s here in eastern kentucky so we're gonna let it go as it may we're gonna let everything grow if it wants to and if not we'll just let it sit and we're still gonna give god all the glory for it but guys this is penny pincher farm thanking the good lord for a pretty sunset tonight that right there is that right there is about as pretty as it gets guys but this is penny pincher farm have a good day